Normally, we use the play audio action to play an audio track. When users click a button, the corresponding audio track will play. But, this way can make audio tracks overlap each other. Step 1, choosing sashimi ingredients. Step Purchase 2, four ounces cutting of the sushi into sashimi. Salmon. To avoid this issue, do as follows. Firstly, import all audio tracks into the project. Then, make them hide from the beginning. Right-click them, select initially hidden. Then, use the show object action to play, and the hide object action to stop the audio track. The more audio tracks you have, the more hide object actions you need to add. So, let's use advanced actions to save time. Open the questions tab, select advanced actions. Add an advanced action called play audio. Then, add one parameter to show the audio. Hide all audio tracks using the hide object action. and add a show object action to show your desired audio track. Remember to uncheck the hide after option, so that audio tracks can be played to the end. Now, add events actions to each button. Open the Slide Properties tab of the Properties pane, and uncheck the Auto Advance option. By doing so, users can still interact with buttons when the presentation ends. Let's see the preview. Sashimi is made from fresh fish that you slice into delicate, bite-sized pieces. Let's click the steps to know how to make a delicious dish. Step 1, Choosing Sashimi Ingredients. Purchase 4 ounce each of sushi-grade salmon, tuna, Step 2, Cutting the fish into sashimi slices. Use a very sharp knife to cut the fish into zero point. Step 3, Plating the sashimi. Thanks for watching.